Hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019, our Rags to Riches series, part number 12. Once again, uh, rain has ruined our day. Our day was going to be spent um, harvesting this field, but unfortunately, um, it's not going to happen. It certainly isn't. So what I've done is I've put an extra $72,000 into the account, which is going to allow me to place uh, this wood chipper. So, which I think we might um, might place it like in here somewhere, somewhere along these lines, just there. Um, I've cut down the trees already, but I'm going to have to grab our tractor and our trailer. I hope we can sort of cut some of these trees and um, hopefully transport some of it up and throw up the wood chipper and make a little bit of money out of it. So the trees behind us I'm not going to worry too much about. Um, it's mainly just these trees here that have sort of been causing a few issues. We're obviously going to have to come back with a stump grinder at some stage. and the tree has sort of fallen over the fence. Right, shut that down though. Um, grab our chainsaw out. And start cutting. I think we're going to have to cut this little bit here and then bring the tree back over the fence. Over the hedge. Right, pick that up. Chuck that in. Bring this tree back over. Cut it there. I don't want to cut it to two big um, pieces. Cut it there as well and um, throw this in. I'm not about to speed up the times five again. I keep forgetting to turn it back on once we've sort of gone away from the game and come back again. So cut that bit there. Might as well uh, cut, cut through there as well. this bit over and then we can okay. so cut there Bit of a weird spot but anyway throw that in I'm not sure how we're gonna go with um, stacking all this wood in here might have to sort of jump up and have a bit of a look Push those big bits at the back. Grab this bit, turn it, whoop, turn it sideways. Oh, not like that. Oh God, fall down. There you go. Right, grab these big bits. There we go. a little bit along here, a couple of smaller pieces again. Might only get you know, one tree in per trailer or something, like I'm not even sure on um, how much we're going to fit. Let's try not to over overfill it because we don't want it falling out, falling out the back, falling out the sides, all that sort of thing. Three decent sized pieces. Throw up and in. Oop. Not too worried about the bushes stuck on the side. The wood chipper will snap them up pretty quick. Probably a little bit better without them, but. Might, um. There we go. Try and get all these things sort of sitting in the bottom of the trailer properly. That way we can hopefully load a little bit more in. Uh, trying to work out which way to go like that. There we go. Got that 
up in half as well. Not sure if that disappeared then. It did, okay. I thought there was a little bit hanging off the edge again, but there's not. Let's not throw that in. Oh, that's still connected to that bit. Make some longer cuts. Oh, that up. What is... Ah, there's some weeds. I've already sprayed for weeds, there shouldn't be any weeds in there. Unless we uh, missed a bit when we sprayed, which is quite possible. Hopefully this rain will go away, unless we can start our harvest. Cut that one off. Let's try that up and in. a tiny little bit, see if we can score, oh, just I think, that will probably fall out though, it's like just dangling on the edge, that thing has a really big hitbox or something, that's a weird piece of wood that is for sure. Right, so once we get these bits loaded in, we might run to the shop just with um, just this amount in there to start with. I right, make sure everything is going to sort of make it. Hopefully, we won't have anything falling out. That is a weird, weird piece. Alright, anyway. Let's get out of here. This little bit of wood. We've got another... We see there another four trees to cut down, so... We've had another three trees cut down. So we're going to have to um, come back and fix those guys up. Hopefully, we can start harvesting sometime soon, but... It's not looking overly promising. So I did get rid of that um, other crazy cedar that we had. Certainly wasn't what I expected. So that cedar is gone. We've only got the other little one again now. Still got our 13 grand in the bank. So we'll be able to go up and chuck this wood in and sell it. We don't have a sell point for straight wood, so that's the reason why I've had to put in the um, permanent wood chipper. So at least we've got somewhere to get rid of the wood if we need to. I haven't been up here for a little while, for a few days, I don't think. waiting on this rain. I might pop it up at times 15 while it's raining and hope it goes away before the end of the episode so we can uh, start to harvest hopefully. We just, I think we just lost a bit of wood there didn't we? We did. thought I'd seen it but I wasn't 100% sure. I'm surprised we haven't lost a little bit more, to be honest. So there's the wood chipper there. Let's see if we can... Might as well shut this down. Tip the majority of this wood out. 
Oh. <laughs> well, that wasn't meant to happen. Neither was that. Probably where the little bit better field of view would come in handy. Let's suck all that in. So we're going to get a little bit of money out of this. It's not going to be uh, too bad. So some of these pieces probably aren't even, oh, there we go, aren't even really counting $3. Some of these really small bits. It's more of these big bits that we want. It's where the money's at. $548 for that bit, that's pretty good. $10, $229 for that other big bit. $136, so we're making a little bit of money out of it. It's not a massive amount, but it's all gonna, whoop, it's all gonna add up in the end. This storm will disappear pretty soon. Thirty three dollars for that little bit. There must have been an issue with um, that little bit of wood. Make sure everything's gone in. It has but sixteen three oh nine. So that's not bad. If we go in and have a look, that's um, where are we? Sold wood, three thousand dollars for one tree. That's not bad at all. So head back down. Um, I did pick up the other mower as well. So um, I've spoken to our friend overnight, um, and he sort of gave us a quick call and said, "Can you still continue to mow around that for us?" Just to keep it nice and tidy, whatever we do mow in there, we can we can keep, we can sell, he said, if we like. Get up, sell it, and um, turn into silage or whatever you want to do with it, but it's ours to have now that we don't have any uh, machinery on his land. He said that, you know, ask nicely if we can continue to mow it for him just to keep it tidy, and then obviously whatever we mow, whatever's left behind, grass on the ground is ours. We can do whatever we want with it. So that's um, that's nice of him. could possibly go and do that now instead of um, continuing with the wood. I might um, be able to do a bit of that wood off camera. But I just probably don't want to see it again anyway. Ugh. I always miss it now that we're um, right across from the shop and all these bloody trees in the way. I think it's going to leave it there. It's hard to back it in there. Just damage some of the crop, but anyway. There's that mower and mowers there, so we'll pick this guy up and put it on the front. Um, I need to find... That portable toolbox again. I can't remember exactly where it is in our um, in our purchasable menu. I thought it might have been miscellaneous, but it doesn't seem to be in there. There's a service ad. 
That's a thousand dollars, but we had one that was a lot cheaper than that. Now I just can't remember uh, where it might have been. It might be under the lizard. Uh, H J K L for lizard. Just millions of things in here, of course. Actually, I think it was. One of the placeables, wasn't it? It's definitely in one of these placeables somewhere. So let's have a quick look through. Oh, not you. Do, do, do. Portable toolbox, there we go. Uh, where are we? Down here somewhere. Stick it here, like under the tree. So we can come along and. Um, that, yeah, that'll help us. Um, come along and just fix our tractors and stuff until we can get a proper workshop. So I'll head back up to where Friends Field is and we'll give it a quick mow while we're waiting for our field to be ready to harvest. Wait for this rain to go away. Not quite sure um, on the forecast or anything. There's no. I don't think there's any way to check the forecast anymore like we used to be able to. Definitely nowhere for us to check the forecast. We sort of have no idea how much more rain's coming. It's going to rain all day or not. That day might be um, completely ruined by the time the rain's gone. It's certainly a uh, pretty nasty sounding thunderstorm. start to mow. Mower on the front, mower on the back, it's going to help us get through it a lot quicker. And then eventually once we come through and want to collect all this grass there should be plenty of glass, glass plenty of grass laying around. A bit of a rough spot over here. We're just bumping the pole. I'm sort of going to try and do the inside view, but it's hard to see the front mower. It's still pretty bloody loud out here. So if we miss little bits and pieces here and there, I'm not going to be too concerned. Sort of doing it as a favour for him now, and the grass we happen to leave behind is now to pick up. He said he's more than happy to leave it sitting on the ground like it is now for as long as we need to. If we don't want the grass, then he's more than happy for us just to mow it and leave it behind. So it's up to us whether we want to actually utilize it. I want to actually keep it. What I might actually do is I'm going to turn it down a couple of clicks. Not that that sounds like it's made much difference to be honest. There we go. Because that is um, pretty bloody loud. So the only thing we've got to really pick it up is our baler. So we'll have to bale it um, luckily we won't have to take the bales very far. I am looking at getting a um, front loader attachment 
so we'll be able to pick the bales up a lot easier instead of using our hand I think us using our hand is probably uh, certainly not as hardcore and as good as I sort of want the series to go I think we need to actually get a front loader attachment and use the front loader properly it was a pretty good um, front loader attachment for the bales the bale spikes you guys may have already seen um, it allows us to pick up three bales at a time so it's definitely worth looking at instead of just having the one sort of bale spike this rain is still still coming down pretty heavy I was hoping it would have been gone by now but Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to go away any time today. Sort of seems like it's quite set in. It is a little bit tedious, sort of doing this. Um, of course, as he said, we don't need to get it done every day, but the more often we can do it for him the happier he's going to be and the more grass we're going to have for us to be able to you know, pick up or bale or turn into silage, whatever you want to do hopefully keep him pretty happy Still, when we turn, we're sort of missing bits, but it's not too bad. Our rear mower is now completely green. Cut that much grass with it, but it's absolutely covered in it. Should be running the other way anyway because we're kind of easier to line it up that rear mower going the other way A little bit of a run around the outside here too and we'll be done it's not a massive amount to be done to be honest it's just um all these really weird odd shapes which doesn't help much easier if it was actually like a square square patch of grass Still miss some little bits, but I'm trying not to be too concerned about it. If we miss this time, we might get next time anyway, so doesn't matter. So hopefully it's, you guys aren't too bored. I think we're probably nearly at the end of our time anyway. Yeah, only five minutes to go, so not far off being done. If we're lucky, we might even have the whole thing mowed by then. Probably not. I'm 
into the tree. Might use this view for a little while. So it's still hard to see though, exactly where we have and haven't been. Where that mower is actually hitting. I don't know what the mower's hitting, but I know I'm bouncing the tractor off everything. Alright, there we go. This little run. Around here, then I think that's pretty much it. Of, I think we did do a run down there last time, but it's pretty tight through here with all these trees, so we're not not going to go all under the trees. He knows that we can't get under there, and get it done properly, so it's more than happy for us just to get the majority of the field done. The areas that the other farmers will obviously see when they come to sell their products as well. It's a great demand for something. Let's take a look at that in a second and see what it is. And hope it's soybean and hopefully the rain will stop. I think we might get lucky with some good profit. So I think that's pretty much, we'll really rip the mower off then, I think that's pretty much us done, except this little bit up here. Just do this little bit here and then we'll be finished. It's still raining, I'm surprised it's still raining, I was hoping we'd at least get the opportunity to start our harvest today, but I said at the start of the episode, Mother Nature has other ideas. Right, tiniest little bit left. We can obviously go and mow around our field too, which is another thing that we can possibly do, but let's touch up a few of these spots. We've got some um, a few spots we have missed really badly. Got through here. There's patches of grass everywhere. I think that'll do. Right, so a quick look at um, what it is. No, nothing. It's something to sell point one fifty, but there's nothing there at all. So not quite sure what it was. But um, right here, guys, we might as well end the episode here now that we're um. Still waiting for the rain to disappear. There's not much else we can do except mow around our field, which I might do off camera just to sort of give me something to do while I'm waiting for the grass or for, for the, I should say, the crop to grow back. So um, if you guys enjoyed this episode, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment and let me know what you think of the series so far. And if you want it to continue in what you do and don't want to see, then if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do, do so to follow our Rags to Riches series and also our other series on uh, more well manner. It's been Brito. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.